ready for NBA action live on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge is on our sideline. It's the East All-Stars facing the West All-Stars. the East All-Stars with the ball. Now let's check out the starters for the East All-Stars. We've got Russell Westbrook. Davis is out there with LeBron James. Then there's Irving. And it's Durant in at the three, the small forward. And the shot goes down. And Irving is comfortable running the offense. When a teammate's open, he's quick to whip it around and get him a good look. Now here's Harden. Outside Curry. A three ball. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Curry's got his first three points of the game. Oh, some slick passing from Harden. That LeBron with it. Duran sets a screen for LeBron. The kick out to Irving. And they come right back with their own three pointer. And I'll tell you what, guys, I think that's the best part of James's game. And he's got a lot of good parts, but his vision is otherworldly. David Aldridge had a chance to catch up with head coach Mike D'Antoni. David, what do you have to say? If the coach had any butterflies in his stomach about coaching the All-Stars, he didn't let on. He said this game's for the fans, and even though he'll be giving direction to some of the best players in the league, his only coaching advice, really, is to go out and have fun. Kevin? Thank you, David. And here is LeBron following the three-pointer by Kyrie Irving. To the left side wing. For three, Westbrook drains it from beyond the arc. Westbrook's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Harden against Westbrook. Now here's Harden. He's guarded closely. LeBron with the ball. And they get it back. And B, no good. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Or three, Westbrook. Good D by Harden. And really, despite that miss, they've had a solid start offensive. Curry kicks to Honda Takumba. From deep, Harden. Harden missing again. And it's the East All Stars with the ball. Now Irving. There's a minute 40 left in the first. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. I don't know if there's a player in the league that has better handles than Kyrie Irving. As a matter of fact, his handles are as good as any I've seen in the history of the game. Smooth, crafty, cunning. Man, it is so much a joy to watch this guy do his thing. So the West ends up going with the new group. A big group substitution here for the East. LaMarcus Aldridge is checked in for Davis. Porzingis is coming in for LeBron. Paul George is checked in for Kevin Durant. And Beal subbed in for Russell Westbrook. Here's Irving following the score by Damian Lillard. Screened by Porzingis. Beal drives in. Count it good. And giving up some height. He just finds a way to carve out a little separation. Yeah, you know, he doesn't back down from anybody, Greg. Effectively getting the room he wants and then gets his shot off in time. And the West All-Stars have possession after the made shot from Bradley Beal. Butler kicks to Lillard. Green with a screen for Lillard. Six to shoot. A three-pointer is right on target. Lillard's got five points so far. Lillard always looking to shoot from the outside. He cannot give him daylight. George passes to Irving. Porzingis against Green. Green by Porzingis. George with no one around. Tried to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. Now the dish to Butler. Green, the screen. Butler kicks to Lillard. Let's a floater go. Nice D from Porzingis. We announce the 
John, but wait a minute. The officials are getting together. They may want to review this one. And indeed, they're going to look at it again. They need to be certain he beat the buzzer. Yeah, and at this point in the game, you know, some might say, hey, can, can't we just skip the replay this time around? But you just never know. Yeah, anything can happen. I mean, they want to get the call right, and the league is taking steps to speed the process with the replay review center in Secaucus queuing up the footage for the officials. And they're keeping the call as is. It was close, but he had not released it before the clock had expired. Yeah, still better safe then sorry I think they did the right thing to take another look at it and if it's so close that you can't tell by the naked eye I might as well go to the slow-mo and that does it for the first quarter the East All-Stars up on top leading by four and we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return all right the second quarter beginning in just a moment and guys what's your take Here is Lillard in a moment now to reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball on the court for the West All-Stars we've got Green Thompson is out there with Damian Lillard then it's Carl Anthony Towns and it's Butler in at the small forward position and the replay presented by Under Armour unleash chaos giving us the chance to enjoy that alley-oop all over again. He dishes it to Towns. Shot clock at six. Over Aldridge. Towns, no luck. And sometimes, you know, you don't capitalize off a good shot or a good look. Still, you got to keep letting those good looks fly. Aldridge left side. Rogic kicks to Beal. There's the pick. The East All-Stars need to get another shot. Misses the three. And here's the West with the ball. Six-point game. Butler kicks to Luke. Dishes to Towns. Thompson for the triple. Good, and the assist goes to Town. Thompson's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, Kevin, Carl Anthony Towns was voted by GMs last season as the player they most want to build a franchise around. But he is not resting on his laurels. He said, I work hard on my game. I want to be the strongest player, the most intelligent player, and the most skilled player on the court at all times. Kevin? Thanks, David. That work ethic will definitely help Towns get better. He's already a dynamite player. Lillard dishes to Green. And it's Green with the jam. Lillard has been so good at finding the open man, puts a lot of zip on his passes, and he knows he's responsible for getting his teammates the ball. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Here's Trogic. That one's in his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. And he decides to go old school with the finger roll. And the West All-Stars have possession, time out, time out. trailing by five. So the timeout taken here, the first for the West All-Stars. So the West ends up going with the new group. And some changes here for the East. Here's DeRozan, and Durant sends it back. And Durant isn't just a powerhouse on offense. He also has a great sense of timing for when to block shots. Drummond gets himself open and drills it. Drummond's got the lead up to seven now for the East All-Stars. And what's your take, guys, on the hustle sticks for the East All-Stars? Great hustle defensively through the first half, contesting everything and racking up the block shots. You know, another factor in their offense so far has been their ability to convert and score off turnovers. Depot against Harden. Here's DeRozan. And finished off by DeRozan. you got to respect and you can't sleep on the passing ability of Harden. I love how he zips it over to open teammates. Westbrook against Harden. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. The East All-Stars have gone two for two in the game at the line. The first free throw is good. 
And Russell Westbrook is as explosive a guard as we've seen in the history of the game. An incredibly gifted scorer who can also punch it on you. 55 seconds left to play here in the half. Now, here's DeRozan. Pass to Horford. Picked by Horford. Count that one in the East All-Stars. Lead has been cut down now to just five on a bucket from Harden. You've got to be mindful of Harden at all times, especially when he's close to the basket. And he really knows how to finish inside. So here's Westbrook. Five points in the game. Oladipo for three. After the Kumbo grabs the miss. Now the pass to Lowry. Left side out of the Kumbo. Shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. Just off the charts, incredible athleticism from Antetokounmpo. Bending off contact like a real pro. Buried from outside. But I don't know. I think we may see a review here. That was pretty close. And we are not going to halftime just yet. Officials signaling they are going to review the tape. Yeah, it's hard to tell on that one. And so a good time to go to the replay and just to make sure if he got it off on time. Yeah, and the officials on the floor will make the final determination after reviewing the footage from the NBA's replay center. And we can follow along. We see what they're seeing. And it looks like they got it right this time. No basket. The clock had expired while the ball was still in his hand. Yeah, and even if they don't show it, I know the refs are proud of themselves after a replay proves them right. They're like, see, we had it right all along. So, good call, fellas. And we're through the first half of basketball here and what's been a good one. East All-Stars lead by three. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. It's an interesting battle going on tonight. Ernie Johnson here with you folks alongside Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. You are watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Checking out the East All-Stars. Kenny, what's your take? I was surprised at how comfortable they seemed here on the road. The hostile crowd, <laughs> that didn't bother them at all. And I want to see if they can keep that up in the second half. And big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. Well, this is a close game. Every point matters. Right now, they're not getting to the line much. To win this kind of matchup, you got to be the aggressor. You got to be, ah, you just got to be aggressive. Dude, let's just see if they can ah, ramp up their intensity, Ernie. That's it for halftime, as the second half is just... Welcome back, everyone. The second half about to get on. And the West All-Stars have possession. It's a three-point game. And on the floor for Dwayne Casey starting the second half. They've got Kyrie Irving. LeBron James is out there with Durant. Then there's Russell Westbrook. And it's Davis at the center filling out the middle. Here's Westbrook. Here's LeBron. Outside for Durant. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. Durant's got the first bucket of the third here for the East All-Stars. Pass to Onda Takumbo. They set the pick. Back to Curry. The tray sinks the three-pointer. Curry's got six points. And Kevin, that three ball to Curry did. And you feel like it's going in as soon as he lets it go, no matter where, at what angle, or how deep. Davis with a screen on Curry. LeBron outside. And Durant gets it to go. The assist by LeBron. 
He's got five. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. A shot by Harden. Wide open. Hangs on the trifecta. Harden's got a great IQ. Actually, I would grade it outstanding. A dependable scoring option in these situations. And the East All-Stars decide to take their first time out here. So an almost entirely new group now for the West. Green, he's checked in for Antetokounmpo. Butler comes in for DeMar DeRozan. Clay Thompson, he's checked in for James Harden. And it's Damian Lillard in for Steph Curry. A big group substitution here for the East. Zinkis, he's checked in for James. Paul George comes in for Kevin Durant. Beals checked in for Russell Westbrook. And it's Drogic in for Kyrie Irving. Davis has the open look. Good on the three-point shot. And, and that's why it's so important to really be a good screening team. You get a lot of open looks from it. Green passes to Butler. Lillard from outside. The West All-Stars get it back in a new 24. And B, no good. George against Butler. And George kicks to Dragic. Screen by Porzingis. Back to George. Fires from the wing. And that's good. And it's Dragic with the assist. Dragic has got three assists now in this one. 131 left to play in the third. And Lillard kicks to Butler. There's the screen. And the officials have called the illegal screen right there. Yeah, those illegal screens have, have really become a point of emphasis for the officials. And it seems like they've been more than willing to crack down on those. Makes it tough to get as physical as you'd like to out there. Looking at who's out there now for the West. Horford comes in for Embiid. And it's Kyle Lowry in for Jimmy Butler. Feeds to Beal. Three-pointer. That shot off. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Agic against Lillard. Pass to Horford from outside the arc. Beal pulls it in. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. It's Dragic with the drive. And Dragic came into the NBA with something on his resume that not many other rookies have. He has a ring from winning the Slovenian Pro League the year before he came to America. East All-Stars have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. And that one falls for Dragic. Earl Anthony Towns checked in for the West. The East also changing it up. Andre Drummond's checked in for Davis. Well, Marcus Aldridge comes in for Perzingis. And it's Oladipo in for Paul George. And here's the West with the ball. They trail by nine points. Lowry kicks to Thompson. It's an open look and hits. Thompson's got five now. Kevin, you know, it's nice to see Lowry dish the rock. I mean, I enjoy watching him pass the ball because he's got a nice feel for when to get it to his guys for an open shot. Here's Dragic. Terrific design on the pick play, and he lays it in. Dragic has got the lead up to nine now for the East All-Stars. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Lowry drawing the double team. It's stolen by Dragic. There's Oladipo, and it's Oladipo with the jam. The point's right there, Kevin. A product of Oladipo's defensive work. Once he comes up with the steal, he's ready to get into transition right away. Yeah, that's just poor decision-making. He's got to be better in those situations. Greg, I just think he was in a hurry. He flat-out rushed it. I mean, I don't know what he was thinking there. He actually was in a brain-neutral position. And so it's the East All-Stars holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. Back right after this. And thanks again for joining us. Let's see what happens here in the fourth. Now the East 
Most All-Stars with it. Harden out there with Steph Curry. Then there's Horford. And then there's Antetokounmpo. And it's Towns in its center. So that's who's on the floor for the West All-Stars. Love the attitude of Westbrook. Continues to improve at running the offense and finding ways to create opportunities for his teammates. Picked by Horford. Curry kicks to Harden. From outside, off the mark. And you know what? You can't get a better screen. Frees him up beautifully, but he just fails to capitalize. Clearly a frustrating missed opportunity there. Perfect screen. Got him the space he needed, but he bricked it. Here's Drummond. Carl Anthony Towns with the rebound. And the West All-Stars with possession. It's a 13-point game. Good. And I think down low is where Anthony Tacumpo is really so effective, using those long arms of his to get shots off over the defense, really at will. Drummond with a screen on Curry. Westbrook dishes to Drummond, and it's out of bounds. And they say it was last touch by Towns. And defensively, great anticipation making a play there on the ball. Well, the thing they did there, Greg, clogged up the passing lanes, playing them beautifully and making things hard for the opponent. That's really good defense. The West All-Stars making a switch here. DeRozan's checked in. Off the pick. And Durant sends it back. In the corner, it's Westbrook. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Three. Irving's got his fourth assist in this one. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stance for the East All-Stars? We've seen them make the extra effort from a defensive standpoint, closing out airspace and sending shots back. The number of second chance points they've gotten is also impressive. I mean, they've kept so many possessions alive with offensive rebounds. Now a timeout called by the West All-Stars. And a wise move to call timeout there. Uh, they need to settle down a bit. They, they've been playing out of control at times here. And it shows with their turnover numbers. The West All-Stars making a switch here. Embiid's checked in. The East also changing it up. And Anthony Davis is checked in for Drummond. And Georgia subbed in for Russell Westbrook. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, during that break, Mike D'Antoni talked to his team. He told the guys, it's time to turn it up a little and make a push. We've worked too hard to come away empty-handed. Let's put this thing away. Kevin, we'll see if they can get it done. And it's been an outstanding game for them at the free throw line, not missing their chances when they get them. And so Irving nails both of them. Well, I tell you what, like how cool and collected he was getting the job done at the line in this one. LeBron against Kumbo. Tight side to Rosen for Davis. And no good trying to use the glass. The East All-Stars on offense. A great fourth quarter, just giving up two points. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. James, that's a two-pointer. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Just terrific determination. First, compiling the lead, and now building on it. And that's what you want to do. I mean, you can't let the opposition off the hook here. I mean, you've got to keep adding to that lead. And Bede sets the pick for DeRozan. And they get it, and the jumper is on the mark. Great job of utilizing that screen and finding space to knock down the jumper. Good basketball. LeBron kicks to Irving. Back to James. Back to Irving. James outside. Just five on the clock. Here's Davis. They shoot again. It's rebounded by the West. Loved how they guarded that layup. Didn't make it easy, which I think is why he missed it. Curry passes to Harden. <laughs> Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And Harden is fearless. Awesome at gutting the defense and making them send them to the line. He just knows how to draw fouls and get himself to the strike. So for the West, El Horford's checked in for Ante DeCumpo. Jimmy Butler comes in for DeMar DeRozan. And it's Kyle Lowry and Drew Curry. A big group substitution here for the East. Andre Drummond's checked in for LeBron. Beal comes in for Kevin Durant. 
Victor Oladipo, he's jacked in for George. And it's Trogic in for Kyrie Irving. The shot and game clock separated by four. Back to Harden. Harden draws the double. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. Andre Drummond picks one up. You know, you got to love watching MB play the game because he has such great passion and really a drive to be great. At the line for two. And the first one drops. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Dragic with it. So it's the East All-Stars winning this one easily. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, gee, a pretty hostile environment. It, it really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Alder, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. So long and good night, everyone.